OK, now I'm going to take you through uploading data from PackGuard onto your portable appliance tester. In this case, I'm using the Apollo 600 again, connected via the USB download cable. The process of uploading is quite important because what you can do is upload information from the database onto your PAT tester before you go to site so that the PAT tester will recognize the items and make testing a lot quicker and easier. So in this case, we're going to imagine again um, that we're using the kitchen and we're going to go and do testing in the kitchen. So today the job is going to be to do the PAT testing in the, the ground floor kitchen. So I've just looked in there, I've selected it, we've got the, the kitchen in here. So in this case I go upload to tester and we've got to answer the, the simple questions on here. So again, destinations, so which tester are we downloading to, so uploading to, sorry. Uh, in this case it's the Apollo 600 and where is it? So at this point, what I need to do is actually pop over onto the Apollo and set the Apollo up so that we can copy that data onto it. So if I pop over onto my other camera, there we go, we've got the Apollo. And on the Apollo, again, it's F4, but this time, down, upload is number 7. And again, what are we going to do? So we're going to upload from PackGuard, and we're going to use the PC USB cable. So it now says save data to the Apollo drive and press F3 when done. So if I pop back over now onto PackGuard, you can see that it's actually spotted that we've got the Apollo connected now. So I can just close that little message. So if I refresh the list and then go on here, I should be able to find my Apollo drive, which is there. So now it's saying, what do I want to upload? Well, I was lucky enough to remember I've clicked on the actual location, so it's automatically put that in, but I could at this point select from the drop-downs, the client, the site, the location. You could do a whole client and just set these to all, or you could do specific sites or locations. Always better really to try and keep it to as, as little data as possible because it just keeps things neat and tidy. Now at the bottom here we can actually say what do we want to include. So we want to include PAT data, universal risk assessment, site reports and do we want the photos on there. The photos are quite useful for being able to identify items. So again we've got PAT data and photos ticked and we will include visual onlys as well on there. If we don't tick that we just get full tests. So all that's on here so I'll simply just press OK. It says file saved successfully, so that's actually been saved successfully onto the uh, Apollo. So I'll just OK that. And if I just pop back over onto the Apollo, you can see it says save data to the Apollo drive and press F3 when done. So we've saved the data. So we just press F3. It's actually found the file. So it's saying valid data files. It's found the, the file. So it says press F4, so it's save. Add to existing upload data or create new upload data. So we're going to add it to the existing data that's in the mem memory. So it said the SSS data is uploaded OK. So we simply press escape to come out of there. And then to check whether the data's made it in, we can use the view data menu. So if I just go on to uh, number one. Now you might think when we look at this, that's just the data that we had in there before. Where's the, the upload? Now what we have to do is use the little filter here, the little funnel. And you'll notice down at the bottom there, it actually says uploaded data. So we need to select the uploaded data mem memory. So if I just tick that, we'll now see that all the stuff from the ground floor kitchen has actually been uploaded into there. And we've also got some previous upload information that's in there as well. So we can see that those items made it in. And again, now if I actually go to test the kitchen, I can simply barcode scan those items and it'll come up with the data from last time. And I can speed up my PAT testing by doing that. So I'll simply escape from there, back to the home screen, and back to PackGuard. And that's how we upload data from PackGuard onto our Apollo series tester to help us speed up our PAT testing process by actually giving the PAT tester, the information from previous tests to inform the test that we're carrying out. So that's how we do an upload 
using Pat Gold 3 and an Apollo series tester.